Hello, my name is Lisa, and today I'm going to do my top 10 books that I would like to read for the end of 2020. Currently, it is the 27th of October when I am filming this. Hopefully, this will be up in the next week or so. I have 10 books here that I'm really excited to read, and I have my hand on the first one. And I think I've decided one of them. Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shed Messenger. This is middle grade, and this is a bad girl that she knows that she's telepathic, but she knows no one else who is telepathic. So, like, she feels isolated, and she feels like like she doesn't belong and then she figures out that someone else is telepathic and then she just goes with them and she leaves her family behind which she was adopted from I don't know that well enough but and I but I've read 224 pages of this so far I have adored it I have adored what I've read I just haven't been able to put up again the next book I hope to read before the year ends is Frankly in Love by David Yoon yes I still haven't read this book I know I'm slack but this book is about Frank and he is caught in a lie and he makes big date someone but I think that could be cheating in this book because the girl that he faked a is also dating someone else. No, what is it? Ah, oh, yes. So, he, so, Frank dates a Korean girl, but he fakes dates her. But he's fallen in love, but I think he's dating another girl, like actually dating her. So he makes a pact with her, with his friend. And I think there's cheating in this, as I said, but I don't really know what it's about. I'm just reading the synopsis. I'm really excited to read it. And I pray to God, I, I, I finish, I get it done in 2020. Otherwise, I will kick myself for not reading this soon. The next book that I have to read before the end of the year is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. And also, since you've been gone, also by Morgan Matson, because I need to finish Morgan, the Morgan Matson books I have. So I have, I, I did start to read this book, but as you know, her books are chunky and me and chunky books do not go well together. I take forever to read them, but I will read them. Anyway, uh, this book is about a girl that goes missing and her friend tries to find her and she doesn't know why this friend has gone missing because like they had like these great times together and you just want to figure out why she went missing. I'm not exactly sure what this is about but I know it's contemporary because it's Morgan and Matson. And it has dogs on the cover so it's going to be about a book about dogs. I have two Alice Ozen books because I need to finish reading my Alice Ozen books and they are I Was Born For This and Loveless. And, uh, uh, this book it's about, I feel like this book is about fandom culture, and this book, I don't know what this is about, but knowing Alice Oseman, there will be LGBTQ plus weapon in this, in these books, because that always is, but I'm really excited to read this, these two books, I need to read them as soon as I can, but I am a slow reader. The next book that I would like to read before the year is out is Summer of Salt by Katina Leno. Now this is a book about witches I believe but it's like a contemporary witchy story. I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah I don't know what this is about because I haven't read the synopsis all I um, Chelsea Don Reads has talked about this book a lot and that was my indicator to just buy it and it's been on my wish list for ages and I just, as I was doing an order with Booktopia, I decided to buy it because it was in stock. The next book I hope to read before the year was out is Bathless by Jennifer Niven. I have read both of Jennifer Niven's other books. I, I adored them both. This book is a contemporary. I don't know what this is about. The, the, character, the character of Cla Claudine. Claudine, I think. She moved to a small town because I think yeah. because her mother and father split up. Her mother takes her to a small town and she meets another cute guy. And I think it's gonna be a summer romance. And I'm like, I'm so excited for summer romance. This next book I hope to read before the end of the year, I hope to read it. Get a Life Chloe Band by Talia Hibbert. This is an adult romance. I did not know what this is about, but it has romance and I love romance and I just wanna read it. It has rap for disability. I don't know what it's called and I don't wanna mess up the disability name. I do not want to mess it up. But I know that it's rap for disability. The next book, which is my 10th book, but let's count it as my 9th, is Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashling Herring Blake. I actually got this book out from the library last year, but didn't read it. So this is a middle grade. Um, this is about a girl who loses everything when a tornado, tornado rips through her whole town, no, her house, and she lo they lose everything. Like her, draw her drawings disappear, but then they show up magically. And Ivy has a crush on a girl, and I'm just like, I'm so excited to read this book. I hope to read it soon. The final book that I hope to read before the end of 2020 is The Invisible Life of Eddie Lou by V.E. Schwab. Now, if you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I have not read any other V.E. Schwab books except for her middle grade books, The City of Ghosts and The Tunnel of Bone, which I loved. I wonder if it's gonna, I'm, I wonder, and there's gonna be a, a third book to that series. Hopefully there is, don't know. Um, but I'm really excited to read The Invisible Life of Eddie Lou. 
hopefully I'll start it this month, but you never know. I don't know. I know that this is a book about a girl who lives in the 1700s. She makes a deal with the devil to be like, to live forever. But like anyone that she meets, they will forget about her like straight away after they leave her. But one day she walks into a bookstore and this guy remembers her. I'm kind of excited to read it and like it's going to be mystical and... But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.